morning friends, Russell here, coming from the shop once again. Um, today I wanted to show a common problem with uh, some of these BMWs we work on. This, uh, this BMW right here is a 128i. Um, the motor designation in it is called an N52. And on the N52, they've got uh, venous solenoids. It also has what's called a valvetronic system. Part of the valvetronic system is an eccentric shaft sensor. That sensor electrical connector actually goes through the valve cover and has a seal around it. What's common problem on these cars is the seal fails, oil works its way up and destroys the sensor, and or the seal fails and creates a, a massive vacuum leak which throws a check engine light, causes misfires, etc. So today on this car, a uh, customer had already replaced the valve cover and brought it in for some additional problems. Uh, we reset the uh, valvetronic stop limits on it and then found the, found the vacuum leak. So. It's only like a $15 seal, uh, doesn't take that long to replace it, so that's what we're going to do today. Right, as you can see right here, um, that little electrical connector I'm pointing to on the top of the valve cover is the uh, where the eccentric shaft sensor connector comes through the cover and around it you can see the seal. Uh, and that's what we're going to be removing off today. Shouldn't take too long to do it as long as the seal holds up and doesn't tear apart while we're doing it. So we're going to get started here. To pick this electrical connector off, it's kind of an unusual um, cannon plug type. There we go. This is going to go way easier than I expected. That's the old sensor, and you can see. You can see the tears in the sensor, and that's what was causing the, uh, or the seal, that's what was causing the vacuum leak into the motor. Um, so I'm going to grab a rag and a flashlight and make sure we don't have any uh, rubber bits stuck into the engine. So to press this seal in, we use a 30 millimeter socket. Just some light taps with a dead low hammer. Electrical 
Now the only thing we've got left to do is hook the computer up. Hook the computer up, clear the codes, and uh, we should be good to go. If you notice, all the uh, the rest of the cows are not uh, haven't been reinstalled yet. We're waiting on the uh, the seal to come in to finish that out, and that, that's simple stuff. Um, I'm not gonna shoot video of that, but. Uh, just to plug the Altel Maxi, um, great little computer. It's got every car in the world in it. Uh, it'll auto read the VIN from the vehicle. And, uh, it'll take a minute or two for it to roll through the, the data loading for this particular model. And we'll run a uh, uh, run a systems test and uh, clear the faults. And we should be good to go. see here it's reading every control unit in the vehicle um, it does more than just your uh, OBD2 codes uh, with the with the Autel Maxis this is a shop level reader um, it'll read every computer module um, in these BMWs um, out the box works BMWs Mercedes Audis Porsche Volkswagens um, not a single I, I, I haven't worked on a single car where this thing wouldn't read um, some of the older, uh, early OBD2 cars, uh, like, for example, my 96 Jeep, yeah, the only thing it reads is the engine. It won't read the transmission. Or, of course, there's no other computer modules in the car anyway, so. So here we go. It's ready for diagnostics. Let's just run it. You can see three faults for the for the DME engine motor electronics. I was expecting that. One of those faults is going to be uh, for a mass airflow. Uh, the other two will probably be uh, misfire related. Um, all three of them uh, because of that vacuum leak caused by the seal. But we'll double check once we're done with scanning.
we've got to rescan it because the uh, car put itself to sleep. So I didn't scan every module. There we go. Yeah, the way you keep the car awake is turn the headlights on. Usually I'll do this with the motor running, but I'm because of the audio. But the BMWs try to put them so that the BMWs, they know that they eat electric, so they try and go to sleep real fast. So let's see what we got here. Read the codes. Cylinder four combustion misfires, mixture control, and air mass system. So I was expecting all of those. We'll erase them. Yes. Okay. Escape. And I already know what the airbag fault is. He's got a problem with his uh, battery safety device. We're not going to worry about that today. So we're done with this car. Exit out. Escape. Yes. Done. Put this away. Uh, so once again, relatively simple fix, um, changing that seal out, solves some oil leak problems with it. Uh, we end up solving vacuum problems and misfire problems with the motor. Very easy to do. Uh, once again, if you're liking this content, go ahead and hit, hit, hit the uh, like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can see future content. and. Uh